Hello, trading standards have called him an industrial scale rogue trader. For the last few years, Daniel Dyer from Wiltshire has charged unsuspecting customers, including elderly and disabled people, a fortune for shoddy and dangerous building work. He told a court he was sorry, but this evening he was jailed for two years. The judge said some families were struggling to put their lives back together after the devastation caused by Dyer. Martin Jones from our investigation unit takes up the story. Daniel Dyer traded as Ashwood Home Improvements, but he wrecked Trudy's house. Can that really be holding up a whole extension? No idea. It's just like two pieces of wood stuck together. But I'm guessing this is what is actually holding it up. And to build the extension halfway over the window without previously moving it, there's gaps there. It's not even connected to anything. These were supposed to be actually real slate, um, but if you, they're just like plastic. Trudy paid just over 30,000 for the extension, but the damage it's done means she's had to sell the house for less than she bought it. It's just been the most awful experience I could ever imagine. I was in such a limbo for three years, you know, sleeping on my dad's sofa while he's dying of cancer, been on sleeping tablets, I've had anxiety. Um, yeah, just, I just didn't see any way out. Before Daniel Dyer stopped work on it, the house flooded and she lost all her possessions too. All told, she says she's down about £200,000. If you could send a message to Daniel Dyer now, what would you want to say to him? Please don't wreck anyone else's life like this. Please don't do this to anyone else. The problem is, he already has. Trading Standards received around 20 complaints about Daniel Dyer. He may have looked a picture of success and confidence on his wedding day, but his customers saw a different side. Well, I have one friend that thinks that I might have paid for his wedding with the amount of money that I paid him for this work that he hasn't completed. Just here um, is the support for the, the beam. Eileen paid Daniel Dyer over £80,000 for her extension, double his initial quote. Eight months later, it was still unfinished, and it could have been worse. Your house could have, parts of it could have fallen down. Uh, definitely the extension and uh, where the steel beam was being supported, that support was not secure, so it was very serious. So it wasn't just a rip-off, it could have been dangerous as well? Yes. So, I mean... She's now paid over £26,000 to have the bad work made good. Yes, into, into the house. The house. And that's but what have we actually there. got? That's something Jan knows all about. She's registered disabled and may well need a wheelchair in a couple of years. I want ramps. What have I got at the front of the house? Two breeze blocks. She paid £50,000 for a new extension, which was never finished. This is what, how they've left it. None of the plumbing had been finished. The electrics weren't done. The windows weren't in properly. The doors weren't on, massive drafts coming through. The tiles, half of them were broken. She's had to pay another 10000 to get things put right so far, money that she can hardly afford. It's caused me a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And it does make you not want to trust anybody. So it's really reassuring. Many of Daniel Dyer's victims did do their research, but were taken in by his use of professional logos from organisations he didn't belong to. They should ask for references. We run a scheme called Buy With Confidence. The businesses that are in Buy With Confidence are all trading standards approved. We've been out and vetted them and audited them ourselves. If a builder or a company is using a logo, such as the FMB or Trustmark, don't simply rely that they're a member by looking at the logos on their paperwork. Go on to the websites of these organisations and check for yourself that they are members. Following that advice may help people avoid the likes of Daniel Dyer. Martin Jones, BBC Points West.